Hello everyone, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Donkey Kong Land 3 for the Game Boy, a game released in 1997 by Nintendo. Now, this game is based on a SNES title called Donkey Kong Country 3, so most of the time there will be elements that are very similar to that game, so just keep note of that. Anyway, let's get on with the game. So, Cape Cod Swallow and Red Wharf. So in each level they're given like these subtitles to give like a theme so that you know what's coming or so. It's been used in all of the Donkey Kong Country games so it's not really new here or anything. And if you've played Donkey Kong Country 3 you may recognize some of the tunes because really all of the music in Donkey Kong Land 3 are um, reorchestrations of the SNES versions. And if anything, I prefer it this way because, well, I'm a big fan of 8-bit music. I just really like the simplicity of it and how catchy it is and easy to follow and all that. But anyway, instead of me going on about, like, comparing between the two, how about I go on about what you're supposed to do in the game? Okay, so in each level, I am going to be doing this to 100% the game. There are these things called DK coins, which are these massive coins which say DK that you need to collect and what I've just collected now is a bonus coin what happens is when you find like a barrel saying B um, across the level that means that's a bonus round and there's two in each level so if you want to make sure that you clear every level 100% make sure you get a massive DK coin and find two bonuses there's also these things I'm collecting called Kong letters all they do really is just give you an extra life, but what, there are two reasons why I'm collecting them. One, because with it giving me extra lives, it means it makes the game a hell lot more easier, and then I'm rarely going to get a game over. And two, it will be helpful for you guys, so just keep note of that. But anyway, there's the second bonus coin. So now I have completed the Kong letters, and there you go, I've got an extra heart at the bottom, meaning I've got an extra life. And this is the thing I was saying about with the DK coin. You just hit that barrel against the person and get your DK coin, basically. Oh, and that's already the end of the first level. So, on to the next one. Seabed Shanty. Which is an underwater level. Great. I am not a big fan of water underwater levels. Like in the Mario series, Zelda series, especially Water Temple. Ugh. So, yeah, the fun didn't really last. Oh, and there's also this new person, well, not really a person, it's more of like a swordfish. This swordfish is called Unguard, and basically he makes swimming a bit easier and you can kill fish. Because really, when you're um, Kitty Kong or Dixie Kong, you can't really do anything. All you can do is swim, so you can't attack or anything like that. So this makes Unguard really, really useful. Now, one thing I like actually is this. You may notice that while he's swimming, he's given like a glowing effect on his scales or something. I think that's really, really powerful for a Game Boy title because, I mean, it looks very realistic and the Game Boy, you know, had a lot of limitations. If anything, Donkey Kong Land 3 or, you know, the whole Donkey Kong Land um, trilogy, it pushed the Game Boy to its limits with its graphical capabilities. So that's something I like. You may be wondering this though. Why am I doing the third one instead of the first one in the series? That's because I've never played it. Yeah, I haven't played Donkey Kong Land 1 or Donkey Kong Land 2, just Donkey Kong Land 3. So in case you're wondering why I've decided to go to the third one instead of the very original one, that's why, because I'm, I have never played the game, I'm not familiar with it, and also it would be illegal for me to get it on an emulator and all that, because I don't actually own a, you know, a copy of the game. I mean, I want to follow the rules here, come on. But anyway, one thing that's weird actually is this. The game's called Donkey Kong Land 3, but the Donkey Kong isn't in it. <laughs> it's a bit weird, I know. It's the only... Donkey Kong game in the whole Donkey Kong franchise which doesn't have Donkey Kong in it and it's kind of hard to explain because I just keep saying Donkey Kong over and over. <laughs> so it's a bit weird, if anything it's more like Kitty Kong Land 
but really Donkey Kong Land's better because, you know, they'll know what the game's about and all that. Anyway, let's see what this bonus round is. Bash the baddies. So simply with this, all you got to do is be on guard. <laughs> Great, I just made a pun there. <laughs> and bash all the baddies in time, because there's like a time limit. These bonus rounds, you have to be quick. You always got to be on your toes, because if you slip up once or, I don't know, a couple of times, um, you could fail. But if you fail, don't worry, you can just keep trying and trying, and it, you know, puts you right next to the barrel, so it's not really a tedious task to get back to there or anything like that. But anyway, there's also another thing um, which is similar to, say, Mario. You can see these bananas I'm collecting, right? When I collect 100, I will get an extra life. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot of extra lives at the moment. See, I just got another one right there because I collected 100 bananas. Good grief, this level's going on a bit for a while. Because, well, all underwater levels are quite long and I think that's why a lot of us hate them. Because of how long they are. Ugh, especially Water Temple when you don't know what you're doing. I don't know why I keep switching back to Ocarina of Time. This is a Game Boy game and it's Donkey Kong. Why am I switching to some fantasy adventure? Yeah, I don't know. One thing you got to keep note of though is this. When in underwater levels, you don't have to attack the guys with the shields to get the DK coins because they're just lying around in the level. So you don't have to worry about any of that. If anything, it's a bit easier because if you're not too sure how to defeat them, then it can be a bit annoying, I guess. I guess I could also say the names of these enemies. The fish I just killed there, <laughs> for no reason, is called uh, Coco. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they have really, really weird names in this game. To be honest, in most of the Donkey Kong games they do. Collect the stars. So I'm guessing you know what to do on this one. Uh, collect the stars, just like it says. <laughs> There's not really much to say on this one. You just go and collect the stars before the time limit. Get your bonus coin. And then that's the end. Sorry about that, I was just getting a bit distracted there by the music. The music in this game is very good, but wait, I've already gone on about that before. Even though it's just, you know, reorchestrations of, say, Donkey Kong Country 3 soundtrack. So, yeah. Anyway, I think we're coming up to the end of the level, so that is the end of all underwater levels for now. Let's see what the next one is. Wrinkly Refuge. Okay, so let's see what's inside. Why? If it isn't Donkey. Or is it Funky? No, Diddy. So pretty much all Wrinkly Kong is is just a save point, you know, to make sure you save the game, just so that you don't have to restart it all over again, like an NES game or anything like that, or type in passwords. Because even the Game Boy, had saved data. Anyway, <laughs> on to Ford Knox. So as you can see, it's similar to like the first level, except uh, slightly more difficult. And this level actually has one thing. You can take either two ways. You can go swimming all the way to the very end of the level, or you can go higher and higher up the platforms by bouncing on enemies. I chose this way because this is the way that leads to all the bonuses and you know, special coins, no not special coins, <laughs> going back to like, we're the Sonic Advance 2 now, great. But anyway, bash the baddies again, and, ooh, new enemies. These are called Booty Birds. Yeah, again, a bit of a weird name, but um, most of the Nintendo franchises have like weird enemy names. I mean, Mario has weird enemy names and all that, so, uh, we're used to it. One thing I do not like, though, about the Donkey Kong Land games, even though I've only played the third one, is the camera. If you ask me, Donkey Kong Land 3 has the camera zoomed in way too much, because it's hard to work out what's above you. So you might, at some point, jump up a platform but not realise an enemy was there, so you'll take damage for no reason because of a dumb camera. It's not really a major issue, you know, it doesn't make the game unplayable or anything, but it's still a bit of an annoyance when you're trying to 100% it, you know, without taking damage and all that. Trying to make the game feel easier, I guess. But anyway, we got the 
N, so we got the G left at the moment to get an extra life. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot of lives um, in my first playthrough. I honestly don't know how I did it, but I'll take it. It's mainly though because I collected all the Kong letters and extra lives with the balloons, collect bananas, and didn't die. If you don't die and just do all that, you're just going to get a ton of lives. One problem though, when you turn off the game and turn it back on again, you know, from where you last saved, you lose pretty much most of your lives and it resets to how many lives you had in the first place. So it's kind of useless for me in this LP because I always have to keep turning, you know, the game off because I want to have like a break or something. But it's not too much of a major issue, but oh well. And that's one thing I like. With the barrel you can just glitch your way through here. And if you just remove it, you just like somehow stands on the pole for some reason. It's a bit weird, but it's fun. Anyway, total recoil. Okay, so let's see what's over here. And... Oh, there's a bonus right at the beginning. <laughs> so yeah, that's one thing you've got to keep an eye out for. Even, you know, at the very start of levels, there will be bonuses in some places. They're just put in random locations, so even if there's, you know, what we just saw there, nothing there, jump at it and you might uh, find a barrel or something that leads you to it. So you need to do a lot of exploring in this game. And this is what I like about um, Donkey Kong Land 3, you've got to do a lot of exploring. Now, I'm pretty sure Donkey Kong Land, the original, is better, but I haven't played that yet, so I can't really give my verdict on it, as I've only played the third one in the series. My childhood was a bit mucked up in the order I played games, because I grew up with Sonic Advance 2, uh, Super Mario Land 2, and Donkey Kong Land 3. So, in other words, a game from 1992, a game from 1997, and a game from 2002 or 3. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a bit mucked up. Anyway, you may be wondering this though. If this is a Game Boy game, why is it in colour, and why is DK all golden? I'm playing this on an emulator, so I've changed the colour codings, because, I mean, you don't really want to watch this if it's in black and white, do you? I mean, it worked well in Super Mario Land 2, so I thought I'd use it here as well. And if anything, I'm quite happy with the colour scheme, so I'll be keeping it as that. This is also the colour scheme that I grew up with um, when I used to play this game a lot. So again, just do the roll attack. Here's a fun thing actually, when you have like two enemies, like near each other, if you um, roll, you then keep rolling all the way until you destroy the enemies. So in other words, you can just hold it down and Kitty Kong or Dixie Kong rolls. It's a really, really useful feature really. Wait, why did I say that twice? Ah, oh, oh well. Anyway. Onwards to the second bonus act, which is the last one in this level, because like I was saying before, there's uh, two bonuses in each level and one DK coin. And wow, look at that, my lives are already like near maximum, which is a shame as well, because I'm going to have to turn off the game in a minute, uh, and it's going to reset to like five. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I've got maximum lives now, and how many levels have we done? Let's see, about four? That's crazy. I really could have rolled against those guys, but I chose not to because of... You know, I've already got rid of Dixicon, and if I die, it could be the end of me. There is the Sheepy Shop, but I think this episode has gone on long enough, so I think we are going to end things off here. Tea's ready. I'll save the game while you do it. <laughs> Great. He often has um, weird dialogue, but it makes it entertaining, really. Anyway, with that, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of Donkey Kong Land 3. Stay tuned.